Hello and welcome. This session is on using the Tiber 2000 OTDR in the smart OTDR mode. To get started, connect the fiber, jumper, or launch cable to the OTDR port. The OTDR port is on the OTDR module, which is on the back of the Tiber 2000 mainframe. Ensure the OTDR, fiber jumper and launch cable, and fiber under test are all clean and have been inspected. There is a different recorded session on using the P5000i fiber inspection scope to inspect all of the fibers. Note that the GUI of the T-Bird 2000 is presently viewable, so the home keys are on the mainframe and cannot be seen now. If the top of the GUI is touched, the home keys appear for a couple of seconds. They are now basically virtual hard keys. They show up and then disappear. To get started, press the home hard key. On the main screen, press the smart OTDR icon. Hit it twice to make it yellow. It is now available for use. Press the file hard key. On the left side of the screen, go to the config folder. And on the right side of the screen, go to the JDU, JDSU auto test single mode configuration. Click on it to make it highlighted in the upper right corner, hit the load button, then load as smart configuration. This automatically launches us to the setup hard key. You can see that the JDSU auto test single mode configuration is loaded. From this point forward, the class to use the OTDR is turn it on and hit start. All that needs to be double checked is to make sure that the smart OTDR is yellow or activated in the home page. Here it's yellow, and on the setup hard key, ensure that the JDSU auto test single mode configuration is loaded. This will allow the OTDR to work on a 500 foot span, 25 foot, one mile, five miles, 10 miles, 50 or 60 miles. The only choices for OTDR setup are to pick the wavelengths. In this case, 1310 and 1550 will be selected, and pick the distance of measurement such as feet. Hit the start button, and the OTDR will now go into an automatic configuration. Note it says auto configuration in progress. This means the OTDR is picking the correct optical settings. There is a connection check. Good and bad is available. If the OTDR is plugged in clean, the connector is plugged in all the way, there is not a UPC or APC mismatch, the, con the connection will show up as clean. Typically, the average trace is going to be 20 seconds. So 1550 was done first. 20 seconds later, it's done. There is now a connection check on 1310. It was plugged in clean. The connection check shows it's good. Auto configuration was done. Now the OTDR trace will run, typically for 20 seconds, and then results will be completed. Once the results are completed, a summary report appears. There's a lot of information here. The length of this fiber is 3,321.86 feet. The total loss is 0.34 dBs, and the ORL is 40. If all of these numbers are good, then the fiber span is good. To see more information, in the upper right corner, press the summary button. Now summary information appears for both wavelengths. Typically, a data person or central office person will use that main summary page to see the length, loss, and the ORL to make sure the fiber is making it from point A to point B. If there was a problem, press the results table soft key. Now results table appears. In the upper right, press the trace view button. Now a trace can be seen with the event table. If the user does not know how to evaluate a trace, there's a separate session where the fast report button can be clicked, this trace can be turned into a PDF, and it can be emailed to somebody for review. If somebody has network access, the Technical Assistance Center can dial into the unit and look at the trace and analyze it as well. There are three zoom functions. If the zoom soft key is pressed, here is one zoom, two zooms, and back to a full zoom. Additionally, this is a touchscreen device, 
So zooming can be done with a touch screen. Press to the left and above an event to have a magnifying glass appear. Press to the right and below event, and these two points will create an invisible box, and that is where the OTDR will zoom. The symbol here looks like a little connector represents the end of the fiber. Touch the upper right soft key to have trace selected. And if the arrow key on the keypad is pressed, the OTDR just flew from event two to event one. Press the down button and the OTDR will fly from event one, which is highlighted here, to event two. If the second event is five, eight, 10, 20 miles away, the OTDR will automatically fly to the event when the trace soft key is selected. To switch from the 1310 wavelength to 1550, the right or left keypad button can be selected. So here it's 1550, now it's 1310. Or you see a one and two here, press one, 1550 appears, press two, 1310 appears. The zoom is highlighted and the enter button on the keypad is selected. The trace will go to a full zoom and now the complete trace is shown. So the session once again is to ensure the OTDR has smart OTDR icon as yellow, ensure that the smart JDSQ auto test single mode configuration is loaded. At this point, the class has turned it on and hit start. And of course, always ensure inspection and cleaning is done on all fibers prior to connecting and testing. Thank you very much.